Uganda's capital, Kampala, which is home to 2 million people, ranks among the world's most polluted cities, with pollution levels up to seven times higher than the World Health Organization's safe standards. According to a report by the Global Alliance on Health and Pollution, pollution remains the largest environmental threat to human health. And, 2017, and in 2017, it was responsible for 15% of all the deaths worldwide. In the Ugandan capital, a haze hangs over the city. Dust from unpaved roads and particulates from car exhaust polluting the street. Some people cannot even escape the problem within their homes, where rubbish is burnt and open fires are often used to cook. A report by a local air quality monitoring company says, the worsening in air quality in Kampala goes over the recommended limits set by the World Health Organization. An anti-pollution campaigner, Michael Vanyama, says he did not know what was making one of his three sons ill. After frequent visits to the hospital, he was finally told that his child was suffering respiratory issues because of the pollution. One of my children was uh, constantly in and out of clinics uh, due to respiratory related illnesses. And uh, every time I would ask the, the doctors what, what could be causing this you know, reoccurring all the time because we don't have the same uh, systems in the bodies, you know. Some people are affected the more, some people are more like susceptible to this, to a poor air quality. So I was told it's because of the air around us, the air he breathes that you know, causes him to fall sick all the time. Expensive medication for their son and concerns about his health persuaded Vanyama and his family to leave their home in the city and move to an area with cleaner air. After the family's experience with how polluted air can impact health, Michael Vanyama launched the Vanyama Auto Safety Initiative. The aim of the organization is to help other parents who are going through the same issues. In May this year, he was recognized for his work in his community. Particulate matter, one of the many air pollutants, is believed by many experts to be the most harmful to human health. The term refers to small particles suspended in the air like dust and black carbon from such sources as fossil fuel and biomass burning. Many people in Africa, where the process of rural electrification has been slow, still burn wood to cook or heat up their homes. The poor quality air around the country has largely been driven by rapid urbanization and population growth in these areas. We have a lot of dust, we have uh, uh, many unpaved roads. We find that the, the devices that will uh, help uh, monitor air quality with them, they would uh, fail really fast. So uh, this uh, meant that we had to engineer something unique that can combat uh, not only a few that I've mentioned, but so many other challenges, um, while still providing accurate data. A local company has devised an app now to address the challenge of access to information on air quality monitoring. This app sends real-time data to users, telling them about the air quality around them. Now there are over 150 units installed already across the country. According to the World Health Organization, air pollution accounts for nearly 7 million deaths worldwide every year. Nine out of ten human beings currently breathe air that is not safe. Air pollution contributes to the global burden of heart disease, lung cancer, as well as respiratory diseases like asthma and pneumonia. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.